If you are a coder, this video is for you. If you are a reviewer, this video is for you. If you are a tech lead, this video is for you. If you are the manager, then this video is again for you. Because in all the senior positions, your responsibility is to catch errors. And if a reviewer doesn't know which errors you have to catch, then you are gone. have any important system design round scheduled very soon then this playlist is for you i hope you have already seen the previous three videos if not the link is mentioned in the i icon above so do check them out without further ado guys put your hands together for your host none other than sanchit dudeja working at sd5 at adobe and here i come at your service to teach you low level system design i bet Nobody from the industry at SD5 level would be teaching these concepts. So the agenda for today meeting is we will be walking through the detailed code architecture on how interface segregation principle gets violated, how you can redesign the entire code to fix this issue. And the most important part, if there is the code design, which is in bad state where interface segregation principle is violated. How can you address the problem without redesigning the entire code? We will be using adapter pattern technique in order to address this problem. So, in this video, we will be able to do And towards the second half of the video, which forms the most interesting part, where we will understand that the current bad architecture ko kaise fix kara jai without redesigning or without interrupting it much, is the most interesting part of the video. So, do check this out till the very end. Let's try and understand the definition of interface segregation principle and it states that child classes should not be forced to define any method they do not use by virtue of implementing the interface. That simply means that if you have a child class implementing an interface and a method defined an interface ke andar, jo child class use nahi karti, then that child class should not be forced to define that method by virtue ki wo interface mein present hai. And most of the time, how do you identify such a case? Whenever you see an interface having large number of methods exposed in it, that means there is a design smell. Your code smells. It should actually catch the viewer's attention that there are not methods and you should retrospect again whether all these methods make sense to be part of single interface or not. This is very similar to single responsibility principle and that means it's kind of a sibling of SRP. How can we fix this up? The solution single responsibility wala hai. You divide the entire big interface into smaller interfaces that has less number of methods depending upon the actual use case they are trying to solve. So in sub code detail mein samajhte hai, problem bhi or solution bhi. So let's get started with one of the live examples. Jo ek practical life may possible and what is that example it's about visiting a restaurant it's about hotels so let's get started if i ask you what is that one thing that we all can't live without it's nothing but good food in 1951 a restaurant named welcome to punjab opened and since it represented punjabi culture it was bound to have vegetarian as well as non-vegetarian dishes as a result of which, a coder went ahead and defined a menu interface and in that menu interface, he or she exposed two methods. The first one is get all the vegetarian items and the second one is fetch all the non-vegetarian items. This menu interface is implemented by Welcome to Punjab class and it appropriately re returns what all vegetarian items are served and what all non-vegetarian items are served at the restaurant. Few years later, another restaurant opened and this time the name of the restaurant was Taste of Punjab. It happened to be a pure vegetarian restaurant and since it was a vegetarian restaurant, the method non-vegetarian items when implemented by Taste of Punjab returned null. So what was the problem? 
नॉन वेजिटेरियन सर्व नहीं कर रहे थे रिटर्न कर दिया नल और एम टी रिस्पॉन्स तो प्रॉब्लम को समझने के लिए वी हैव टू डीप डाइव इन टू दोड एट द ग्रास रूट लेवल सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द कोडिंग सेक्शन सो नाउ लेट्स ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट दैट डेवलपर एक्चुअली डिड इन कोड ही क्रिएटेड आई मेन्यू इंटरफेस it has two methods in it as i talked in the presentation get vegetarian items get non vegetarian items and both of them return an nm type a list of nm type which is food items right now food items has four values in it butter chicken prawn dal makhani paneer pasanda and it could have been extended to much many more values for the sake of simplicity i have kept it this way so let's try and understand how welcome to punjab class was created welcome to punjab class implements the i menu interface it overrides the two methods exposed in i menu and it has provided the list of items the vegetarian items it serves at the restaurant similarly it also returns the list of non vegetarian items being served at the restaurant pretty simple and straightforward now let's talk about taste of india class so taste of india being a vegetarian restaurant only serves vegetarian items and it serves dal makhani and paneer pasanda in the non vegetarian items it simply returns null so now let's try and understand the main menu manager class that i have created i have created a helper method print menu which basically prints all the food items being passed to this print menu method and along with this in the main class i have created two objects the first one is of taste of india i menu taste of india happens to be equal to new taste of india remember here the object is new taste of india and i invoke print menu first on non vegetarian items second on vegetarian items for taste of india object similarly i have created another object welcome to punjab remember on the right side new welcome to punjab and on the left side i have made it loosely coupled that's the name of the interface again i invoke print menu on both non vegetarian items being served at welcome to punjab and vegetarian items being served at welcome to punjab let's go ahead and run this method let's see what the output comes the output comes as taste of india has two items dal makhani and paneer pasanda whereas welcome to punjab has four items butter chicken prawns dal makhani and paneer pasanda so far you will say ki koi problem hi nahi hai bhaiya ye to sahi code likha hai ekdam प्रॉब्लम कैसे आएगी प्रॉब्लम तब आएगी जब बहुत सारे रेस्टोरेंट्स इस इंटरफेस को इंप्लीमेंट करेंगे एंड उन स्पेसिफिक रेस्टोरेंट्स की स्पेशलिटी इस कॉमन इंटरफेस में लैंड करेगी फॉर एग्जांपल एक बंगाली रेस्टोरेंट आया एक इटालियन रेस्टोरेंट आया एक राजस्थानी रेस्टोरेंट आया एक हरियाणवी रेस्टोरेंट आया एक प्रॉब्ली साउथ इंडियन रेस्टोरेंट आया और इन सब रेस्टोरेंट्स ने अपने अपने स्पेसिफिक मेथड्स इस कॉमन इंटरफेस में दैट इज आई मेन्यू में डाल दिए so what will actually happen jo bhi classes is interface ko implement kar rahi hongi un sab ko ye sare methods support karne honge and in order to support those methods what they will be doing they will be putting the null implementation across all these methods that are not supported by that particular class which becomes an issue that means those implementing classes are actually bound to implement the methods provided in the interface although wo unka kaam hai nahi wo unki responsibility hai nahi and this is the core problem that has originated by virtue of making this i menu interface fat in nature because we are going ahead and putting all the methods in this common interface so far we did understand the problem ki sare methods ek common interface mein expose nahi hone chahiye because it builds an unnecessary dependency on the implementing classes to implement those methods jinki usko zarurat bhi nahi hai and the solution to this problem is really obvious what i stated in single responsibility principle as well jiska kaam usi ko saaje we need to divide this big fatty interface into smaller interfaces and those interfaces would be independent of each other what i am trying to say let's see that live in action the first solution that i'm going to propose is where in i'm going to redesign the architecture of i menu interface into smaller independent interfaces so here what i have done i have created two interfaces the first one is non vegetarian menu interface 
that only holds non vegetarian items helper method and the second one is i vegetarian menu interface that holds only the vegetarian items helper method and let's talk about the definition of taste of india and welcome to punjab since welcome to punjab holds both kind of items vegetarian and non vegetarian items it implements both kind of interfaces i vegetarian menu and i non vegetarian menu and the implementation of these methods is what is the responsibility of welcome to punjab class so it could have any permutation of non vegetarian items and it could have any permutation of vegetarian items similarly the taste of india one would only implement the i vegetarian menu because it only serves vegetarian items at the restaurant and let's talk about the manager class now so again what i have done here i have created two objects the first one happens to be taste of india and since it implements i vegetarian menu you will see only one option in taste of india class which is get vegetarian items similarly you will see in welcome to punjab two type of methods the first one is get non vegetarian items and the second one is get vegetarian items by virtue of welcome to punjab class implementing both kind of interfaces so ye to bahut hi simple solution ho gaya and the most obvious one as well if the code is being developed for the first time isko fix karna from the violated case to this case becomes really simple however challenges tab aayenge when the legacy code running on production is extremely complicated in nature redesigning it re architecting it is a really difficult task then the developer the reviewer will be extremely fearful ki koi aisa change na chala jaye jisse ki production ka code break kar de also it will require extensive level of testing to un cases mein what is the solution what is the way out where we don't want to redesign the whole architecture the solution comes as adapter pattern so we will be using a very famous technique of system design known as adapter pattern so let's have a look at code moving ahead let's try and understand adapter pattern by an example so i menu interface remains the same it has two methods get vegetarian items and get non vegetarian items combined menu is a class that implements the i menu interface and it is overriding both the methods get vegetarian items and get non vegetarian items and suppose we want to hypothetically restrict this combined menu to only vegetarian items how that can be done so let's have a look at the veg menu adapter that i have created so it has a private member of combined menu which is working as an adapter it also has a constructor this constructor will have combined menu as an argument passed to it what do we do we store the adapter over here this dot adapter equals to combined menu to kya karna hai combined menu ka ek object rakhna hai adapter ke andar and another important thing that we should highlight here is this adapter implements the i vegetarian menu so what is i vegetarian menu it has only one method in it get vegetarian items so combined menu ko humne adapter ki tarah use karna and what are we doing in this overriding method get vegetarian items we are calling the adapter's vegetarian helper method that is exposed in combined menu so do teen cheeze hain yahan par sabse pehli cheez ki ek private member banana hai combined menu ka that is acting as the adapter and ek private member kaise initialize hoga ye initialize hoga constructor ke through we have to create a separate i vegetarian menu interface that only has the vegetarian items helper method in it and the third step would be to override this method and in this method what we will do we will invoke adapter's vegetarian method that is part of the combined menu agar ye teen cheeze samajh aa gayi rest of the things are really simple to menu manager class mein jate hain aur dekhte hain how this is getting operated combined menu ko object banaya hua hai humne moving ahead what do we do we create a i vegetarian menu object and what do we do we pass in the combined menu to the veg menu adapter moving ahead our work is done we have restricted 
टेस्ट ऑफ इंडिया ट्यू ओनली वेजिटेरियन आइटम्स गाइस इसको दोबारा से ध्यान से देखो तीनों स्टेप्स को समझो कंबाइंड मेन्यू हमारा एक कॉमन क्लास थी जिसमें दोनों मेथड एक्सपोज थे वेजिटेरियन मेन्यू एंड नॉन वेजिटेरियन मेन्यू अडाप्टर मेन्यू की डेफिनेशन जाके समझो कैसे ऑपरेट कर रहा है कंबाइंड मेन्यू को ऑब्जेक्ट है कंबाइंड मेन्यू कैसे इनिशियलाइज होगा कंस्ट्रक्टर के थ्रू इनिशियलाइज होगा एंड इट ऑल्सो इंप्लीमेंट्स द आई वेजिटेरियन मेन्यू दैट ओनली हैज वन मेथड इन इट इन इट दैट इज दी गेट वेजिटेरियन आइटम्स द क्रक्स ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज वी आर ओवर राइडिंग द आई वेजिटेरियन मेन्यू गेट वेजिटेरियन आइटम्स मेथड एंड इसके अंदर से वी आर कॉलिंग द अडाप्टीज गेट वेजिटेरियन मेथड दिस होल कॉन्सेप्ट इज नोकडाउन एज अडाप्टर पैटर्न अगर अभी भी कोई डाउट है तो दोबारा इसको विजिट कर लो आई एम अटैचिंग द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो इंडस्ट्री से कोई इतनी डेथ में कॉन्सेप्ट को नहीं समझाने वाला neither on youtube nor in reviews so guys treat it as a golden opportunity to learn new concepts don't let it go ek bar download karo ye source code from coding decoded github repo try to understand kaise ye operate kar rahi hai cheeze i promise ek bar concept seed in kar gaya na you will not gonna commit such bad mistakes ever in future automatically low level system design improve ho jayega tumhara to sum it up let's walk through the advantages of isp and abhi tak samajh aayi gaya hoga If we follow ISP principle, then we can avoid bloated interfaces with multiple responsibilities. It aligns with single responsibility principle. And with this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot from it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead, and stay tuned, guys. I'll come up with the last episode of Solid Principles very soon. And as soon as it's done, we will move on to more complex low-level system design problems like tic-tac-toe game, uh, elevator problems, those are complex problems. Those are commonly asked in interviews. And we'll solve them together. Thank you guys for watching. 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 and do subscribe guys do subscribe because a lot of effort goes in creating these videos and this you are not going to find it anywhere on youtube